We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The New York Tyrants go up against the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down green street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horse soup buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. Second down in a very lot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Third down and five. First down! And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. No receivers open, so the QB just threw the ball away. Third down and the punter is warming up. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First down and six. Second and eight to go. Oh, that was a great throw and a great catch. Yeah, but, but it was an interception. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. Boom! And it's first and ten. Well, 
one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he's on a 14 dirty trick. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. And the defense gives up five yards there. Third down and five. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over to but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. The 20, the 10, and he scores! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
Lisa never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. And that run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up third and one. That's followed the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaking fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo. Is she going to dry clean that before she gives it back to me? Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. They're back up here on first. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down in a lot. Assuming he was aiming for the ground. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. That kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first 
and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And this rep is definitely on the tank. That was a bogus penalty. First and ten. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Ben? Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Oh, man, he really wants it. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? <laughs> well... <laughs> First and ten. And left the work. Oh, what a hit. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. He did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ford and the Ant Smiler. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. Another turnover for the defense. He is fighting for every off. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I had to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the... De oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs. Pow, with the brain. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> 
The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Second down and two. Points, so they're going for two. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. And this guy has quite the female following. Listen to them. Yeah, they all want to jump his bones. I wish the middle linebacker would have jumped his bones. I just lost a sawbuck on that play. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the... Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Defense was there, but he still... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. Third down and three. First and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to come. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks oh, and you can bury that. I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit! Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of... Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. <laughs> the quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. I'm running out of excuses for this kid. Oh, that worm grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. And the worm's going to the bathroom, Grim. Why did he just grab that you think? And 
it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. That's a touchdown! I never looked that good dancing, and I have skin. running backs left and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners as fighters as I win. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Well, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. <laughs> 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 and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I'm ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the uh, no mustard? <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And he finds his target for two. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf once, Grim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but, you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo ground. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. <laughs> and it's first and ten.
And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player. And he finds open space, is running, and he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First down! And oh, mama! Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. probably thought it was an earthquake. I bet he wishes he was right. In between being digested, that is. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if they rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Second down and more than the QB would like. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and the punter is warming up. He refuses to go down. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Chris? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's, oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he's running like a moose right now. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. It's first and ten. He runs it for three. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. You know, I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. The offense is 
down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Ben. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Second down and seven. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Yeah, nobody likes to watch that happen to a ref. Yeah, you got that right, Brickhead. They'd rather be down there in the field doing it themselves. A lot more fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. First down and forever. Oh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. As my mentor Humphrey used to say, I don't end that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. It's about a three-yard pickup. I know how said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> The offense is no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Third down and long. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All he needed is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. You can show the fans. In my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Hellboys are sent straight back to hell and lose by forfeit today. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They 
they weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition did. God, I love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.